Hello and welcome to our discussion on game theory. Now in last lecture we were talking about dominance. We studied what dominance is. Dominance is a situation where one strategy, outcomes of one strategy, payoffs of one strategy completely dominate some other strategy. It could be compared at row level, it could be compared at column level. When we are making a comparison at row level, so as we have seen that these games are written according to the row player. These are gains for the row player. So if we check it at row level, the larger value is termed as the winner. And if one strategy has all the winners, then the other strategy is said to be dominated and it is removed from the game. When a strategy is removed from the game, game naturally reduces. Its size becomes smaller. Why do we wish to make the size smaller? Because I only have one easiest way to solve a game theory question of solving an unstable game theory question and that method is ornament method. But that ornament method is applicable only for games that are reduced to size 2 by 2. So whenever I have a game which is larger than 2 by 2, it could be 2 by 7, it could be 5 by 2, it could be 3 by 5, it could be 5 by 4, any size. Whenever my game is of these orders. Whenever my game is of order larger than 2 by 2, then I try to reduce it down to 2 by 2. This is where we make use of dominance. If one row is completely dominating the other row, I remove that row, thereby reducing the order of my game. When we compare columns, if one column is, every single element of a column is smaller than every single element, respective element of other column. Every single element of one column is smaller than every single respective element of other column. Then we say that the smaller column wins and it has dominated the larger column. For columns, the smaller column dominates the larger column. For rows, the larger row dominates the smaller row, which is obvious. For row player, these are gains. So larger values will dominate the smaller values. But for column player, these are losses. So smaller values are more preferable. So, last in last class, in last lecture, we saw what dominance is. Now, today what we will do is, we will try to solve some questions because generally when a topic is opened, it is explained, it becomes a little bit confusing. So, today we will take certain questions and see how dominance plays in. So, we will start from here. We have a question minus 5, minus 3, 1, minus 5 minus 3 and 1, 2 minus 1 and 2, then there is a minus 2, 3 and 4. Let us say we have this game, where we have row player having strategies R1, R2, R3, column player having strategies C1, C2 and C3. Now, how do we solve this? Again, I'll repeat, as soon as you get a game theory question, look for stability. First step is look for stability, that is saddle point. If a saddle point is there, fine. If a saddle point is not there, then check its order. If it is 2 by 2, go to ornament or algebraic as you wish. But if it is greater than 2 by 2, which could be 2 by n, which could be m by 2, which could be m by n. If it is more than 2 by 2, then use dominance. In dominance, first make use of pure dominance. If it reduces, fine. If it does not reduce through pure dominance, go to average or mixed dominance. So first check stability, then if stability is not found and if the size is 2 by 2, go to ornament and if problem is not solved over here then go for dominance which dominance pure or absolute dominance if things are not sorted out over here then look for which dominance average or mixed dominance this is how we will approach the problem 
So as soon as I get a problem, I'll check for stability. How do I check for stability? Remember, I told you, you should speak up it in, in your mind so that we do not commit a mistake. And what are the strategies? For B, it is minimax, minimum from maximum. And for A, it is maximum, that is maximum from minimum. These are the two strategies that we'll be making use of. Now, minimax, that is minimum from maximums. Let me pull out maximum. Maximum, 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 minimum, 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 maximum. Now, this 2 is pointing over here, while this minus 1 is pointing over here. So, these both are pointing at different locations. So, this is definitely not a stable game. Is it a 2 by 2 game? It is not a 2 by 2 game, so I cannot solve it through ornament method. Look for pure dominance. Let us check if there is any pure dominance in it. What I will do is, for the purpose, I will write down this question once again. Make use of some other ink. Minus 5, minus 3 and 1. 2 minus 1 and 2 minus 2 3 and 4 we have r1 r2 r3 c1 c2 c3 first we'll check for row dominance you can go for column dominance row dominance it doesn't really matter idea is i'll check all row dominance i'll check all column dominance and then again i'll check all row dominance because at times what happens is there is some element which is not letting row dominance happen and during column dominance that element might be removed. So that bottleneck that was avoiding the row dominance has been removed through column dominance and you might get your row dominance once again. So what I will do is I will keep on checking row dominance column dominance alternatively. So long as I am assured that no further dominance exists. So how do I start? Now I will not be writing down all those things all the strategies again and again as we were writing them down in previous lecture. Today we will compare it directly. Now because I am checking at row level, I will take these two rows. Which two rows? R1 and R2. From minus 5 and 2, which one is better? 2 is better, larger value. Minus 3 and minus 1, minus 1 is better. 1 and 2, 2 is better, larger values. So when I compared R1 and R2, 2 was better than minus 5, minus 1 was better than minus 3, greater value in negative, minus 1 is greater. Then 1 and 2, 2 was greater. So idea is all the values of R2 are better than R1. So what can I say? I can say that R2 has dominated R1. R2 has dominated R1. Now, because R2 has dominated R1, R1 is out of the game. I will not be talking of R1 because R1 has lost the game. It has been dominated by some other strategy. Now, if you wish like, you can again check it in between R2 and R3, but there is no need because it has come down to two rows. I need an order of 2 by 2. As far as rows are concerned, we are down to 2. Let us check if there is dominance, it will be practice. So, from 2 and minus 2, I will take 2 larger of the values again i am comparing rows from minus 1 and 3 i'll take 3 so at times i'm taking at r2 at times i'm taking r3 there is no dominance dominance is one strategy should win all the games it is not winning so we'll leave in any case i'm down to two rows so no worries now i'm through with rows inspection now let me go to columns remember when i'm comparing columns i take smaller because it is a loss for column player. When I to go to columns C1 and C2, 2 and minus 1, minus 1 is preferred because it is a smaller value. I am comparing C1 against C2. Minus 2 and 3, minus 2 is better because it is a smaller value. So there is no dominance between C1 and C2. Next let me compare C1 against 
C3. Remember that we should always pick up first strategy and compare it to all. Then we should pick up second strategy and compare it to all so that we do not skip any combination. So I have compared C1 against C2. I will compare C1 against C3. When we compare C1 against C3, this is removed. R1 is out. 2 against 2. I will keep my opinion reserved. I will not jump to any conclusion. I will select either this 2 or second one depending on my comfort zone. So 2 against 2, I am ignoring for now. Minus 2 against 4, definitely minus 2 is my choice because it is smaller value. So if I am taking this minus 2 from these two twos, what I will do is I will select this one. If I select this one, what happens? C1 has dominated C3 because against 4, I am going with minus 2 and against this 2, I will stick with this 2 so that it reduces the C3, it removes the C3. So what can I write? I can write C1 has dominated C3 and because C3 has been dominated, what I can do is I can remove it and now my game is down to 2 by 2. So can I solve it using automate method? Let us go ahead and solve it. What is the game? It is 2 minus 1 minus 2 and 3. I have an R2 and R3. Then there is a C1 and C2. C1, C2 are here. C3 is gone. R1 is gone. We are left with R2, R3. This is my game. And this is a 2 by 2 game. If you wish like, you can check for settle point. Otherwise, what we will do is we will find out ornaments. If ornaments are not equal, then obviously it has a settle point. And if ornaments are equal, then obviously it is an unstable game. So I will straight away go and find out ornaments. Difference of these two, 2 minus minus 1 making it 2 plus 1 making it 3. Difference of first row is written in second row. Their difference will be written over here. Their difference 2 minus 2 would be 4. 3 minus 1 would be so I have a 5 plus 3, 8, 4 plus 4, 8, sums are equal, these become my odds and I have solution for my game. What is the solution? You should give me strategy for A, you should give me strategy for B or rather we are not calling it A, we are calling it R this time. You should give me strategy for row player. What is my strategy for row player? What is happening here? here and here. As far as first is concerned, it was removed. So I will be giving it a 0. It is not in my consideration. So first is gone. For R2 and R3, I am getting these odds. What are those? 5 by 8 and 3 by 8. So in a set of 8 games, I will never go with R1 because definitely R2 is always better than R1. So whenever I come to R1, I'll leave it, I'll come to R2. So R1 is always being ignored. So there is a chance of probability of 0, 5 by 8 and 3 by 8 for R2. What about strategy for columns? C1 and C2 are here. So I have a 4 by 8, 4 by 8. What about C3? C3 is completely gone. It was dominated. So the strategy becomes 0. Probability becomes 0. So these are the strategies for row player and column player and finally value of game. You can have your value of game from here. We have found out so many times. It will be 5 by 8 multiplied by minus 1 plus 3 by 8 multiplied by 3 making it minus 5 by 8 plus. So value of game is 4 by 8. This is value of game this is strategy and these two constitute solution of my first game. Now let us start with our second question. Second question is, I will put it over here. Forty two, seventy two, thirty two and twelve. Then there is a forty 
थर्टी थर्टी ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड टेन दर इज थर्टी एट माइनस टेन एंड जीरो देन वी हैव फोर्टी फाइव टेन जीरो एंड फिफ्टीन सो दिस इज आर सेकेंड क्वेश्चन फॉर द डे दिस वॉज क्वेश्चन वन Now let us have our question two. So first thing is check for stability. Stability is minimax for B. Minimum from maximum values. Bring out maximums. We'll speak it up. Forty-five maximum, 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 minimum. Next is. Minimum, 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 maximum. So fifteen is pointing to this fifteen, while this twelve is pointing to this twelve. So it is not a stable game. I do not have a settle point. If I do not have a settle point, is it a two by two question? Order size two by two, two strategies by two strategies. No, we have a four by four game. So I need to move to dominance part. For dominance, also first we'll be checking for pure dominance. If one strategy could dominate the other, a one, a two, a three, and a four, then we have b one, b two, b three, and b four. Let us compare. You could go with row level comparison, or you could go with column level comparison. It hardly matters. But the idea is. I'll compare rows, then I'll compare columns, then I'll compare rows, then I'll compare columns, then I'll compare rows and columns. I'll keep on comparing them so long as none of the rows or columns are being dominated. I've gone through all, and none of those were dominated. Till that point, I'll keep on comparing. So the, that we'll learn with questions to come. For now, I'm comparing rows. When you are comparing rows, the larger value wins. when you are comparing column the smaller value wins because for column player it is a loss matrix for row player it is a gain matrix so i want maximum gain the larger gain so now when i am saying when i am speaking that i am comparing rows a1 and a2 are actually rows so when i am comparing rows larger value will be winning so 42 40 this is better output in these two 72 is better 32 is better 12 is better so we see that in all four cases A1 is giving me better returns as compared to A2. 42, 72, 32, 12 against 40, 30, 25, 10. So what can I say over here is A1 has dominated A2, and A2 is out of any further consideration. A2 is out. So A1 played against A2 and dominated A2. Now A1 will play against A3. 42, 30, 42 is better. 72, 8, 72 is better. 32 and minus 10, 32 is better. 12 and 0, 12 is better. So in either of these cases, in any of these four cases, A1 is giving me better returns as compared to A3. 42 against 30. So I can say this time round that A1 has dominated. A three, A three has also been dominated. Now we are down to two strategies. We are down to two rows. It is not required to compare them, but we'll compare it just for practice sake. So what do we have over here? Forty two against forty five. Forty five is better. Seventy two against seventy two uh, against ten. Seventy two is better. So in one case I am taking A four, that is forty five. In other case I am taking. A one that is seventy two. So there is no case of dominance against in case of A one and A four. Let us move to columns. Now I am saying columns. Columns are for column player. For column player, it is a loss matrix. So in columns, it is loss. So lesser loss is suggested. Lesser loss is recommended. So lesser value is winning. Forty two against seventy two. Forty two is the lesser value. I'm comparing B1 against B2. 42 is lesser value. In this case, 10 is lesser value. 
सो इन वन केस बी वन हैज बेटर वैल्यू अनदर केस बी टू हैज बेटर वैल्यू नो सोल्यूशन सो बी वन बी टू आई एम नॉट गेटिंग एनी सोल्यूशन वेन आई कंपेयर बी वन अगेंस्ट बी थ्री बी वन बी टू नो सोल्यूशन बी वन बी थ्री फोर्टी टू अगेंस्ट थर्टी टू थर्टी टू इज बेटर फोर्टी फाइव अगेंस्ट जीरो जीरो इज बेटर बिकॉज आई नीड स्मॉलर वैल्यूज सो वट कैन आई से एट दिस पॉइंट बी थ्री हैज डोमिनेटेड B3 has dominated B1, so B1 is out of further calculations. So we are through with B1. Now B1 is removed, so there will be no match of B1 and B4. We are now with B2. B2 will play against B3. 72 and 32, 32 is better. 10 against 0, 0 is better. So the idea is B2 loses all matches. 72 against 32, 32 will be selected. 10 against 0, 0 will be selected. So I can say that B3 has dominated B2. And if you look at this game very carefully, now it is down to 2 by 2. 32 and 12, 2 by 2. 32 and 15. I have an A1 and A4. Then there is a B3 and B4, as we know that it doesn't have a settle point, we can straight away go for ornaments, and also you can straight away go for ornaments if the sums are different. If the sums happen to be different, then obviously it was a stable game. But if sums are same, what sums? These odds that we are going to find out. If these sums are same, then it is an unstable game, and we are on right track. So I'll go, just go ahead and find out the differences. 32 and 12 differences, 20. 15 and 0 difference is 15 remember i am not doing first minus second or second minus first i am taking taking differences so difference is always larger minus smaller and what about these differences 32 minus 0 would be 32 so sum over here is 35 here also it is 35 so i can say that i am on right track and these are my strategies these are my recommended strategies so what will be your recommendation for a what is my solution a1 sorry for a i am saying a1 a1 is 15 by 35 a2 and a3 have gone missing from my final solution so a2 and a3 are missing a4 is 20 by 35 what about strategy for b strategy for b b1 and b2 are gone missing b3 is 3 by 35 b4 is 32 by 35 so a1 a4 are here a2 a3 were dominated so it is a zero b2 b3 b4 are here B1, B2 were dominated, so they are zero. So this is half part of my solution. That is strategies for A and B. Then finally, I have value of game. Value of game you can find out with either of these combinations. Let us say we take this one. So it will be 15 by 35 multiplied by 12 plus 20 by 35 multiplied by 15, making it 180 by 35 plus. 300 by 35, making 480 by 35. This is value of game. So this is my strategy and value of game. This becomes my solution. Fine. So this was it for our today's lecture. next time when we meet we'll take a couple more questions on dominance so this is it for our today's lecture thanks for watching bye bye take care